the new tools that I've added to my studio is a pulse arc welder. Hi, I'm Melissa Muir. In this series of videos, I want to talk a little bit more about pulse arc welders and how they work, and specifically, my particular type of welder, which is an Orion 200 and I2, created by Sunstone Engineering. So a lot of people will ask me, what is a pulse arc welder and how does it work? Well, basically, we are going to create a little plasma field. So you think about what's happening on the sun. You get these plasma bursts of energy, and they're like 5,500 5, to about 8,000 degrees Celsius. Very, very hot. Pulse arc welders are a special kind of TIG welder, which is called a tungsten inert gas welder. And what that means is that we are going to use a, a gas along with a tungsten electrode. Now, in this case, we are using a high purity argon. You want to use that so that you keep the oxygen out of your welds. Now, in order for this plasma energy to actually happen, you have to create an electrical circuit. So there is a little clamp on your welder that you would clamp onto the piece of metal. Then as that piece of metal that has been grounded touches the electrode, we create the electrical circuit which then triggers the system to release the gas which is the argon. After you've touched the metal very quickly that electrode is going to retract, send the energy creating that little plasma burst and the gas continues to flow until that burst finishes. Once that burst finishes the gas turns off and the electrode will come back down. So you want to be really careful because if you give too much pressure on that electrode, you can actually damage it. But even if you damage it, it's not that big of a deal to turn around and regrind it. Now why is the argon necessary? The argon is necessary to keep the oxygen at bay or away from that little molten pool when you create this little burst of plasma energy. Because if oxygen is introduced into that molten metal, you are going to create a surface that is kind of crusted over, it becomes more brittle, and it actually will have like an oxidized or a burnt look to that, which is very undesirable because then you have more cleanup to do. But by having that argon, you create a more controlled environment because it allows that molten puddle to solidify before the oxygen is allowed to be introduced into that again. So another one of the questions that I receive is how does a laser welder compare or differ from an arc welder? Well, the arc welder I've talked a little bit about, you have to have that circuit of electricity for that energy to flow through and create the little plasma burst. Whereas a laser welder actually just has a collimated or a focused area of light that the energy will come through and create the weld there. Now the laser welder does not do well with reflective surfaces, so it's not a great candidate to use with silver. However, there are a few workarounds that people have come up with, but it's still not perfect. And in addition to that, you can actually damage and annihilate stones if you happen to have kind of like a little bump or a mishap or a misfire. So with the pulse arc welder, because you have to have that circuit of electricity, your stones are safe because they're not going to conduct that. So once you have like a diamond, a pearl, soft stones, hard stones, wood, it doesn't matter because that energy is not going to transfer or conduct through that. So now that you know a little bit more about how an arc welder works, join me for this series of videos as I introduce you to my 200i2 and show you how I use it in my studio.